you also need to know that there are certain people born in a particular locality whose assignment crosses the boundaries of their culture and their own nationality. You can see someone like Apostle Paul, born a Jew, but he was an apostle to the Gentiles. So how you know that you have such mandate is that if you look in, in your preparation, in your upbringing, certain things will look like accidents or coincidence that happen in the course of your life, but it's not. That same Paul, in his upbringing, he was trained under Gamaliel, one of the greatest tutors of that time. He became a Roman citizen, became trained in Greek language, trained in Roman language, ends up studying Roman law, um, trained in the Jewish, you know, became a rabbi under the Jewish religion. The reason is because he, his ministry was going to cross boundaries. You might be a Ghanaian, but you speak French. Certain circumstances of your life maybe had caused that you lived in Abidjan, you lived in Cote d'Ivoire, you lived in Togo. Certain things so that you can learn. It's because your ministry is going to go beyond Ghana. Look at, look at Pastor Bright now. God is using him to reach many countries in Africa. There are certain things God did to make that possible. At that time, some of us would think it was an accident or coincidence. You might even think it, it was the circumstances were working against you. They were not working against you. They were working for your good. All things work together for the good of them that love God, who are called according to his word, purpose. The things that God allows in your life are the things that will end up working out his purpose for your life. When other people are going in this direction, Joseph was the one sold away into slavery and then went to Egypt. Yes. At that time, you might cry. You might think you are being cheated. You are not being cheated. Destiny is working itself out in your life. 